guys, I thought I would do a try new makeup video today. I just did a haul video that went up on Monday and I had a whole bunch of new stuff in there and I got a lot of comments like wanting to see all the different things. There wasn't anything that really stuck out. So I thought, let me do this sort of mashup of all of those, not all of them, but a lot of the things that I hauled in that video. And additionally, I did get some of the new Hermes spring lipsticks in. I ordered them off of Bloomingdale's and they arrived. So I thought we would try those out as well. I am sitting here, I don't have a new base. So I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do because the new Milk Bionic like Glow Highlighter in the shade Virtual is actually like a really kind of lightweight, semi-glowy, I actually put some on the back of my hand here, just a really subtle kind of glow. And I'm wondering if I can put that all over my face to just sort of filter my complexion instead of having to put like all this foundation down. It does feel very lightweight. I feel like I, I could if I wanted to. Maybe I will start there. We'll see what happens, right? We're just trying, we're just playing around. Um, so I'm gonna actually shake this up first. And this is, again, the new Milk Bionic Glow in the shade Virtual. So I'm just gonna squeeze out, oops, squeeze out like, I don't know, dime size amount and just work that in. I wonder if I am gonna to start to look like a Tin Man. We can always powder on top, but this could be a really good starting point if you want a nice glow. Ooh, that's really nice. I do look very, very glowy. I think if I wanted to cover up some spots or like, you know, brighten up my eye area, I could do that. Let me actually pull out my Dior Forever Skin Correct in 2N. This isn't too brightening at this point in the winter. This is pretty much my skin color. But I'm just gonna put some underneath my eyes there. I wanna see how these two products work together because I use this all the time. You know, I really like this glow. I mean, there's a definite glow and I think you really have to be into a glow <laughs> to like this uh, Milk Bionic Glow as like a base product, but it's really pretty. I would say it has a little bit more glow than that Luna and Aster that I just tried, this Real Glow Primer, because this had a really nice glow. Um, I would say it has a little bit more than that, but I like it. I really, really like it. And I'm looking at my under eyes and that concealer, the Dior concealer and this, I think it worked well together, I think they play really well together. So I just added a little bit of concealer to some spots on my face because this uh, Bionic Glow from Milk Makeup obviously does not have any coverage. It doesn't claim to have any coverage. I don't even think um, they talk about using it as a base product, but I do really like it for a glow. I think it's fun. All right, so that is fun and very interesting. So that's the Milk Bionic Glow in Virtual. There's two shades, the other shade is uh, a little bit deeper. I feel like I could probably use it as a bronzer, but since I have this glow all over my face, I'm gonna use their new Bionic Bronzer, which does not have any kind of sheen to it. And I'm using the lightest shade in this. This is Time Travel. I'm just gonna shake this up as well. And I'm just gonna squeeze some out onto the back of my hand. Here is what that looks like. It really, it shears out pretty nicely. Let me, let me just spread that out a little bit there for you. So I have some on my finger. I'm just going to dab. And I'm just gonna use the same brush. This is my BK Beauty 101 brush. This is the brush that I was using for the concealer. So I'm just gonna use this. I think this has a nice tone. It's warm, but it's uh, like caramelly. It's not too orangey, which is really pretty. I'm actually gonna try picking some of it up with the actual brush and then pouncing it. All right, so I've applied it here, not here. Yeah, I think you can see the bronze going on. Very nice. And I believe there's three shades in this bronzer, and this is the lightest one, Time Travel. So the formula of these Bionic products from Milk, they now have this bronzer, that highlight that I just used, and cheek products, which I've used previously. I think that was the first Bionic product that came out. It's such an interesting formula because they start off like a gel, consistency, but then like as soon as you start working it into the skin, it almost turns into like almost like a dry oil. Like there's no stickiness that you would associate with a gel product. It really becomes 
Like it sets down really, really nicely. Very, very interesting formula. All right, so the Bionic Bronzer is applied. I really like it. I think it has a nice tone. I think it was really easy to apply. I put some in the middle of my forehead and down my nose just to kind of warm up my entire face. And I like it. I think that was really, really easy to use. I do think I like putting it on the back of my hand, kind of uh, spreading it out a bit, and then using this brush to kind of pounce it onto my face as opposed to applying some with my finger and then blending it out with the brush. I feel like this is a little bit more of like a seamless application. Okay, and next for blush, I do have the new M Cosmetics Masterpiece Collection blushes. One is Baroque and the other one is Rococo. So Rococo is the deeper one, Baroque is the lighter one. And let's see, let's see here. So here they are, Rococo on top, Baroque on the bottom. They're both fairly nude, but they have a little bit of peachiness to them, a little bit of warmth. I'm gonna start with Baroque, which is the lighter one and the one that most likely will work for my skin tone. Let me just find a blush brush. I've got my Angie Hot and Flashy BK Beauty A507 brush. This is like an angled face brush. And I'm just gonna pick up some of this blush. This blush formula from M Cosmetics, by the way, is very, very soft. So um, you pick up a lot of product very quickly. So just be careful. Just tap off any excess. <laughs> I love these Heaven's Glow Radiant Veil blushes. They have such a beautiful soft sheen to them. They really, really um, like filter out your skin. I feel like my skin right here just looks a lot more smooth than before I applied the blush. So pretty. So there it is with, without. Oh, isn't that such a pretty flush? So nice. I'm gonna go ahead and apply to the other side here. There, so blush is applied. I'm gonna to have to use the deeper Baroque shade in another video because that looks just as beautiful. But let's go ahead to, I was gonna say highlighter. Do I need highlight? Probably not. But I wanted to use the new uh, Chanel Comet blush in the lighter shade, which is the Pesh Cosmique. And I thought this was just gonna be a straight up, you know, light peachy blush, but it is very, very, highlighty. It has like a really beautiful soft golden sheen and it is for my skin tone too light to be used as a blush because it literally is like my skin tone. <laughs> so I'm going to use this as highlight and even though I don't think I need it between that blush and this Milk Bionic highlighter that I used as a base, I think I'm pretty glowy but I do want to try this out. So I'm going to use my Yano series brush number two which is a really large brush. This is really better for powder, but because this is so soft and subtle, I just wanted to kind of, <laughs> just wanted to get it everywhere. Uh, so let's try this first. Oh yeah, adds a really beautiful golden sheen there. Ooh, ooh, this is surprisingly beautiful. I really was not expecting much from this because I really thought this was just gonna be just a light blush. And it was gonna do like a little something on my very pale skin, but this is, so much more surprising and more beautiful than I thought. Oh wow, so there it is. Versus here. It's like warmed it up a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see like kind of a golden sheen to it versus this one, which is a little bit cooler. Wow, I have a really glowy look going <laughs> today. I don't know if I meant to do this, but I'm loving it. Ooh, so smooth. This is really beautiful. Okay, let me do my eyebrows because I don't have a new eyebrow product and I will be right back. All right, eyebrows done. Wow, I gave myself bolder brows than I, <laughs> than I anticipated. Oh well, um, okay. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using the Sydney Grace Be Mine 15 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. Look at how pretty this is. I only um, swatched a few of the shades when I hauled this, but if you guys are familiar with Sydney Grace shadows, they are just gorgeous, really pigmented, really, really smooth and easy to work with. So I'm excited to try this out. I really wanna use Flirty, is that the shade name? Yeah, Flirty, which is this icy pink and kind of stick with cool tones in here. So maybe I'll do like eye candy and Flirty, like stick with these three shades. So let me find an eyeshadow brush. 
So I'm gonna go straight into Flirty and just put that all over my lid. I've got my Sonia G Blender Pro Brush. I'm kind of putting that all over. I'm gonna add some other colors on top. So um, I'm okay with this being kind of messy. Wow, a little bit really goes a long way. Look how pretty that shade is. It looks so frosty, I love it. And I don't see any fallout, which is fantastic. I'm gonna go into this smooch shade, which is this icy color at the top left. It's almost like a really, really light taupe. There's like a little bit of a gray in there. And I'm just using the same brush. I'm gonna add this just a little bit onto the inner corner here. Ooh. And the tear duct area. Ooh. I love that. I love that. Okay. And then I do want to add a little bit of dimension to the outer corners here. And at first I was going to use eye candy, which has a little bit of green to it, like a greenish gray. And this one is more of like a taupey brownish gray. I think I'll go with eye candy. This one's a little bit different for me because it has that kind of green in there, which is really pretty. I'm going to use my Esom W36 brush. All of these shades I've used so far are like satiny metallic shades. Surprise, surprise. Well, that went on beautifully. Um, I'm going to take a fluffy brush, my Esom V34 brush, and I'm going to dip very lightly into Love Me. I know it's, it's probably too deep as a transition shade, but this one is a little bit too warm for me. So I'm just gonna use this one very, very lightly. And I have to be careful because again, Sydney Gray shadows are very, very pigmented. Just use that along this top edge here. Now that's the Love Me shade. I think I'm gonna try this Darling shade as a transition shade as well. This like medium rose colored matte shade. Let's see how this works. So here's the rose transition and here is the brown transition. I feel like this one looks a little bit more typical. This one pops a little bit because of that pink up there. I like both though. I think both you can use either as transition. I probably could have blended the two also. Ooh, a mirror sticker. Now I'm gonna grab my Sony G Pencil Pro brush and go into, I don't want anything too, too harsh. I think the black would be a little bit too harsh. Maybe this shade or this one? Maybe this one, the I Love You shade, which is a really deep um, purpley metallic shade. I'm gonna use that as liner, see how that goes. Yeah, I think that looks nice. I'm gonna add just a little bit to the lower lash line. All right, so that is it for the Sydney Grace Be Mine eyeshadow palette. What do you guys think? I love it. I love these frosty shades. Those first two shades I put down, I probably could have stopped there. I was so happy with that, especially that pink, that icy pink one. So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes, put on some mascara, I don't have any new mascara, and we'll be back to play with the new Hermes lipsticks. Okay, so I ordered these off of Bloomingdale's and they actually sent them in a little Hermes bag. Isn't that cute? So I ordered two out of the three new spring colors. I got Beige Deux, Beige Deux, <laughs> um, and Orange Capucine, or Capuchine. So here is the beige color packaging. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love these two colors together. So both of these lipsticks are in a brilliant finish instead of the matte or the satin, I think are the two main ones. And I don't think I realized this, but these are more of like a tinted balm. Hold on, so there's beige. And that, that was a lot of going back and forth. Oh, how interesting. I'm actually more excited now because I really like tinted palms. I feel like I wear them more often than like a straight up lipstick, especially these days. Um, so this one is the orange color. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, I love, love, love that color pairing too. And here's what that one looks like. Oh yeah, and this is just like a tint. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't think I realized that. 
Oh, beautiful. Okay. Let me go ahead and put on the beige one. This is probably going to be <laughs> like an emperor's new clothing thing. Like you're not going to be able to see it. Oh, maybe a tint? Ooh, it's pretty. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I feel like there's just enough pigment that you can tell there's something on my lips. Almost giving it like that milky effect. And so, so soft. Wow. Very, very moisturizing feeling. It does have that Hermes fragrance to it. I taste it a little bit, which is not my favorite. But if it's like the other ones, it does dissipate after a while, which is, thank goodness. Okay, so that's the beige. Let me go ahead and take that off. And I don't think there are shimmers in here, but it's almost like, like there's like a highlight, like a sheen to them. Ooh, and now for the orange one. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I think if you are afraid to commit to a very bright orange lipstick, this is a great, great option. It just gives you that little bit of a hint. These are almost like gloss in sticks. I am so, so pleasantly surprised by these. I really, that totally escaped me. I, I thought these were just normal lipsticks and that this was gonna be like a really bright orangey color, but I love this so much more and I really like that beige color. The beige is, the beige gives like that perfect milkiness. And because it has a little bit of that sheen, it's so gorgeous. Ooh, lovely. Well, I definitely, definitely ended up with a much glowier look than I anticipated. I really love this Milk Bionic Glow as a base. I think it's really pretty. If you're not looking for anything with a ton of coverage and maybe you just wanna, you know, add a little something to your complexion. This is a really good option. There's definitely glow to it, definitely. Um, but it's really nice. And I like the bronzer and the M Cosmetics blush is gorgeous. The Sydney Grace eyeshadows, absolutely stunning. These Hermes lipsticks, what an amazing surprise. I'm so happy with everything today. Ooh. Well, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.